What's going on guys, Zephanix here, and uh, before I get into the topic at hand, I just want to go ahead and let you guys know there's a lot of stuff going on right now on GamingRSS.com, a lot of great news. It looks like they are looking into making a dead or alive and um, virtual fighter crossover game. That's definitely good, not to mention we got some brand new screenshots of the new Dead or Alive 5, which I'm not yet sure which console I'm actually going to get it for just yet here. So we got a lot of things going on right now. Um, Assassin's Creed 2, uh, Assassin's Creed 3 rather, dated for October of this year. Wow, really? You know, didn't see that coming. I'm not sure why I didn't see that coming, but I didn't see that coming anyway. Uh, there's a couple of other news that you might want to go ahead and check out too. Um, talking about the new uh, PS3 issues were coming um, in regards to the uh, Skyrim rather. A lot of news going on. And plus, the biggest news out there, in my opinion, it looks like NCSoft is actually looking to put Guild Wars 2 on the console. So that would definitely make Persistent Thug happy. He's been waiting for that news for a while now. And it finally came to fruition. It looks like they are actually looking forward to bringing it on console. So definitely want to go ahead and check it out. GamingRSS.com. Go ahead and click on the link at the bottom of the description there and check it out. So one particular thing I want to talk about right now, too, is that are you going to get the Vita? Um, as soon as it launches or are you going to wait for the price to drop? Um, I'm going to give my particular opinion on that one. I'm actually going to wait for the price to drop. The reason why is because I know for a fact that Sony right now is hurting. Sony is hurting a lot. And please do not give me that whole, oh, Sony's okay. No, dude. If the president of goddamn Sony is saying Sony is hurting, Sony is probably hurting. So um, with that in mind, um, most likely what they're going to do is in order to sell more systems, they're going to go ahead and actually um, put a price cut on the Vita. And the price, price cut is probably going to come pretty soon, depending on how many people actually wait for the price cut. Depends on how, how fast it actually does cut. For example, if a lot of people bought the Vita, then it's probably going to cut within the first six months to a year. But if a lot of people held back for the price cut, which by the way, a lot of people actually are, um, it's probably going to be within a month two months tops that it's actually going to have a price cut so you know um very reminiscent to that in japan where the vita was actually at one point and they prompt they cut the price by what was it i think by 50 to 100 yen oh no well equivalent to 50 to 100 dollars rather just to go ahead and sell the system so i suspect they're going to do that in the u.s as well um i do believe that if they go ahead and do that as well as if they get a good amount of developers in there to um, develop not only games but um applications as well i do suspect that there's going to be a big um how to put this a big market for the um for the vita but the vita's got to do more than just game guys and right now it does do more than just game of course it does everything that the console does but the fact of the matter is, is that despite what a console does it needs to go ahead and take it to the next level so i'm hoping that um we'll see a lot more um you know, a lot more dedicated applications because right now I've checked out the browser on the Vita. It's not really good enough to go ahead and use those web apps that we all know so well, know, know so good and well, such as the ones on, you know, Google. And you know that um, a PlayStation 3 browser or a PlayStation Vita browser can't even touch um, Hotmail.com. I'm telling you right now. So I'm also looking forward to seeing what Home is going to look like on the Vita. That's one thing I haven't heard of. I'm like, what's going on at Home? No one's saying anything about that on the Vita. I was kind of surprised I didn't really see it, or at least Rum, you know? So that's it for now. So um, I just want to go ahead and let you guys know that um, in terms of a lot of people were asking me, am I going to buy the Vita? Am I going to buy the Vita? The answer is yes. I'm going to buy the Vita, but the fact of the matter is that I'm going to wait until the price drops. So I'll probably be waiting for a good two months you know, or maybe a month and a half for a price to drop. Once it drops, I'll be all over it. But until then, yeah, I think I'll wait. You guys have a good night. Zach out.